You've seen them, robots that can run, jump, and even do backflips. But what happens when they stop being tools and start making decisions? I asked an AI to predict the future of robotics, and the answer was both really exciting and terrifying. So not too long ago, robots looked like this, a little bit slow, clumsy, and not very useful. But today we have humanoid robots like Boston Dynamics' Atlas, Tesla's Optimus, and Figure AI's humanoid bots, capable of navigating real-world environments. Elon Musk says that his robots will replace manual labor, while AI labs push for machines that can think and learn on their own. But fundamentally, at scale, uh, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for I think probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars long term. So, and, and and what can it do? It can it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids. It can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of. Robots are already taking over warehouses, driving cars, and even performing surgeries. But where does this all lead? Let's ask AI. So here's what the AI had to say about itself. In two years, we'll have robots in our homes, in our offices, and even policing our streets. It also said we'll have robots caring for the elderly. And robots will better understand emotions, context, and tone. We'll see widespread use of self-driving cars, robotic assistants, and military drones becoming more autonomous. Retail and food service will integrate robots more than ever, replacing human workers. But let's go deeper. What about in 10 years? Well, this is where sci-fi starts looking like reality. What am I? Can I help you, sir? AI suggests that by 2035, humanoid robots could be as common as smartphones today. Some may even have emotions, decision-making power, and autonomy. I guess the central point to today's video is how things would change once robots have agency over us. Right now we look at a robot like a mixture between a dog and a useful tool incapable of making decisions, waiting for instructions from us. But if a robotic structure was to dictate your day, how would you feel? And when you get a chance, I'd like another color. The AI humanoid Sophia is already learning human expressions. Imagine what's next. Will we create helpful machines like in Wally? -E? Or will we end up with something far more dangerous? My only issue with how this is being sold to us is this consistent idea that it's all fine and robots are there to serve us and improve humanity. Some of the biggest investors in robotics? The military. For example, Boston Dynamics, which created a robot called Big Dog, did this for DARPA, which is the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. The robot dogs are programmed to conduct reconnaissance, identify the enemy, and strike the target. If you look at these robots, the aim is clear. Maximize damage and minimize casualties. 
AI-driven killer drones are already being tested. Imagine a battlefield where decisions aren't made by humans, but by a machine. Even George Orwell didn't predict AI-powered government surveillance. What happens when robots monitor everything we do? It's not so much staying alive, staying human. There are thought criminals who maintain that the resistance is not real. Believe me, Winston, it's very real. Experts like Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking warned us AI could become the greatest threat to humanity. Um, so we need to be very careful with artificial intelligence. I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some uh, regulatory oversight uh, at the inter at maybe at the national and international level, uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't do something very foolish. Um, I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, "Yeah, you sure you can control the demon?" The primitive forms of artificial intelligence we already have had proved very useful. But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> At first it's funny, until it isn't. The AI zone answer? It depends on human control. But history shows we're not great at control. And I want you to think about something else. When in the history of humanity has something which is not as smart as something else had control over it? The answer is never. <laughs> so will the future be a robotic utopia or dystopian nightmare? So one of the biggest takeaways for me personally is the AI saying that it's not emotional and uh, it doesn't want or desire anything. And so it's hard to see a world in which the AI desires power and wants to take over the world. I'm not sure, what do you think? We are at the tipping point right now. So the question isn't if the robots are gonna take over, but how we will handle them when they do. And remember, math may explain the world, but robots might just run it. See you next time. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments, do you trust AI with our future?